shut the door and come with me. Pest door, pest door, pest door. Oh, Juliet, I already know thy grief. It strains me past the compass of my wits. I hear thou must, and nothing may forgue it. On Thursday next, you will be married to this county. Tell me not, fire, that thou hearest of this, unless they tell me how I may prevent it. If in thy wisdom thou canst give no help, do thou give my resolution wise, and with this knife I'll help it presently. God join my heart and Romeo's, thou art hands, and heir of this hand, by thee Romeo's hand. Sealed, thou shalt be labeled to another deed, or my true heart with treacherous revolt turn into another. This shall slay them both. Turn, therefore, out of long experienced time, give me some present counsel, or behold, twixt my extremes with this bloody knife shall be the unique, shall play the umpire, abrading that which the commission of thy years art could no issue of true honor bring. But be not so speak, I long deal, if what thou speakest, speak not from me. Hold on, daughter, I do spy a kind of hope which craves as desperate as an execution. If rather than to marry County Paris, thou hast the strength of will to slay thyself, then it is likely that thou wilt undertake a thing like death to chide away its own shame. Thou copest with death himself to escape from it, and if thou darest, I'll give thee remedy. Oh, bid me leap rather than marry Paris, from the battlements of yonder tower, or walk thievish ways, or bid me lurk where serpents are, chain me with roaring bears, or shut me nightly in charnel house, or covered with a dead man's rattling bones, with rinky shanks and yellow trapless skulls, with, or bid me with a new-made grave, and hide me with dead man in his shroud, things that, to hear them told, would have made me trouble, and I will do it without fear or doubt, to live an unstained life with my sweet love. Hold then, go home, be merry. Give consent to marry Paris. Wednesday is tomorrow. Tomorrow night, look that thou lie alone. Let not the nurse see thee in thy chamber. Take now this vial, being then in bed, and this distilled liquor drink thou of, when presently through all thy veins shall run a cold and drowsy humor, for no pulse shall keep his native progress but surcease. No warmth, no breath shall testify thou livest. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade to palely ashes. Thine eyes, wolf, widow, windows fall like death when he shuts up the day of life. Each part deprived of supple government shall stiff and stark cold appear like death. Thou shalt continue for two and forty hours and then awake as if from a pleasant sleep. Now, when the bridegroom in the morning comes to rouse thee from thy bed, there art thou dead. Then, as the manner of our country is, in thy best robes uncovered on the bier, thou shalt be born on that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the Capulets lie. In the meantime, against thou shalt awake, shall Romeo by my letters know our drift, and hither he come, and he and I will watch thy waking at the very night shall Romeo bear thee hence to Mantua, and this shall free thee from this present shame, if no inconsistent toy nor womanish fear abate thy valor in the acting it. Give me, give me, O oh, tell not me of fear. Hold, get you gone, be strong and prosperous. In this resolve I'll send a friar with speed to Mantua with my letters to thy lord. Lord, give me strength, and strength shall help afford. Farewell, dear father.